This brand new adventure e-bike was just released, marking Aventon's first foray into full-size fat tire electric bikes. Hey everyone, Micah here with Electrek, and today we're reviewing the Aventon Adventure, a new fat tire adventure style bike from Aventon. Let's check it out. The Aventon Adventure does just what it sounds like. It's built for adventure riding with a full-size fat tire frame available in either a step-through like you see here, or a traditional step-over frame, the bike is designed to handle a combination of different terrains, from cruising pavement to off-road adventure riding. Aventon didn't pull any punches either when it comes to this new model. The full-size fat tire bike gets full-size specs, including a rear motor rated for a continuous 750 watts and a peak power rating of 1,130 watts. That's enough power for an easy 20 miles an hour on throttle only riding, or up to 28 miles per hour on pedal assist, if you unlock the class three option in the display. The bike arrives as a class two e-bike, only going up to 20 miles an hour, and you've got the option to unlock it for a higher speed yourself. Then there's that fully integrated 48 volt and 15 amp hour battery with a capacity of 720 watt hours. It's lockable and removable, yet it doesn't look like an eyesore like other e-bikes with typical bolt-on batteries that stick out of the frame. The frame integrated battery is definitely a sleeker option for incorporating a larger battery into an e-bike without ruining the aesthetics. When it comes to range on a single charge of that battery, I love how Aventon is always upfront with honest range ratings. They advertise the real world range you'll get in each of the five pedal assist settings and on throttle only operation. Basically, you're looking at a throttle-only range of 27 miles or a pedal assist range of up to nearly double that figure if you're using the lowest power setting. Higher power settings in the pedal assist will land you somewhere in the middle, as you can see. The display is also all new on the adventure here, offering full color and much more detail than we've seen in the past. In my experience, it looks great most of the time, but direct bright sun can wash it out and make it harder to read. There's also a smartphone app that adds even more functionality, I started without the app, but I quickly wanted to test that out too. Some of the info it gives you is a bit gimmicky, like how much CO2 you've offset or trees you've saved, but those are nice reminders of what's actually at stake here. You can also track all of your rides, which is really interesting if you want to compare your stats later. The bike itself also sports some interesting features and components. Bengal Aries 3 hydraulic disc brakes clamp down on oversized 180mm rotors. Aventon's signature beautiful welds are on full display, showing off how e-bikes twice this price should be constructed, and LED lighting is built into the handlebars, as well as into the seat stay in the rear. Now the taillight here, it's only found on the left side, which sort of makes sense, since on the road you'll likely be sticking to the right side of the lane, but I would have liked to see the taillight included on both sides of the frame. Either way, it's pretty sweet to have frame-integrated lighting like this at this price point. With the Adventure priced at $1,899, you're getting a hell of a deal here. It's barely more expensive than the other major full-size electric fat tire bikes, yet you're getting better build quality, a nicer battery with more capacity, a higher power motor, and cooler features. So there's a lot to like here. I mean, I've really enjoyed testing the bike. In fact, I'd say one of the few things that I really don't like about it is probably just the name. Adventure. I mean, I get it, you know, Aventon, Adventure, it's kind of cheeky, haha, -ha, but it also seems needlessly confusing. Cool bike, I want to get one. What is that? Oh, this one? It's the Aventon Adventure. I can't find it. Well, did you Google Adventure or Adventure? Adventure. No, it's Adventure. Adventure. No, no, Adventure. I'm having a hard time finding anything else to complain about here, really. I mean, the screen could be a bit easier to read in the sun, and I can perhaps ding the bike for the weight, which is pretty heavy at 73 pounds or 33 kilos. It's not the heaviest e-bike I've lifted, but it ain't light. And maybe a nicer derailer would have been nice, but it's hard to swing something like that at this price point. When all the cards are down, I'd say Aventon really scored a win with this new model. It's fairly priced considering the specs and components, it opens up a new segment for the brand, and it should compete nicely against the established full-size fat tire e-bikes. I'd even say it might push some of those other brands to up their games a bit, and that's a win for everyone. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that review of the Aventon Adventure. If you did, why don't you give this video a thumbs up? 
and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time.